Okay, so I have iPad here with a couple of cameras defined. And we're, we're just going to go through a quick setup. So once you've unpacked the camera, um, you can either place the base into the mounting plate or not. If you're going to mount the, the uh, plate on a wall so that the camera mounts like this on a wall, or if you're going to mount it upside down, you may not want to put it into the base just yet. I like to put this end here, which is the power cord end, facing up so that the power cord doesn't hit the bottom of the base if you move it back or tilt it in any way, shape, or form. So the other end of the camera is for the SD card. So this is a quick setup guide, so I'm going to go very quickly on this. Just put it at the top, thumbs on both sides, push firmly, it is locked in and it doesn't move. We'll take the power cord, we'll plug one end in up here. And then we will take the power cube and we're going to plug this into the wall. Okay, so as the camera starts to boot, there's a red light down here at the bottom and it will start to blink three fat three quick blinks and one slow one that means that it's in boot mode a slow steady blink means that it is ready to be configured and a solid um, blue light means that it has joined your network so in the meantime while that's booting up it takes two minutes to boot I'm going to go ahead and log into the application here and you can download this application from um, the Apple Store and it's just P2P Wi-Fi Cam 2, the number 2, or from the Play Store which is P2P Wi-Fi Cam and it's the same screens, the same setup menus and everything like that. So I'm just going to hit Add Camera and it'll come up like this. I can make this name anything that I want. Then what I'm going to do is I want to put that camera ID in. I'm just going to scan the QR code. So I will choose to scan the QR code on the box. There's also the same QR code on the back of the camera. This QR code right here. So since the camera is booting, I will go ahead and scan it right here on the box just put your camera right in front of the uh, QR code there give it a second to focus As soon as it recognizes the camera or the QR code it will automatically put that number in there the password for the username, uh, the default username is admin. The password is admin. And when you're done, just hit done. And now you'll see the camera is offline. And the reason it's offline is because I haven't connected to the camera yet. We'll notice now the camera is done booting. It's a slow blink. So I will go into my settings. of the of the um, your cell phone or or um, your iPad or whatever and you're looking for IP cam AP and then part of the uh, camera ID just go ahead and click on that as soon as you see the little check mark come up we are now connected directly to the camera so we will go back into here and now we are online the camera is set up 
and it's that quick. Um, because I mounted this upside down, I can flip it from top to bottom here, and I can mirror it left to right. The camera works, I can go ahead and push on the speaker, which the camera is now picking up my voice. And then when you push on the speaker, the microphone comes up here and I can talk into the camera. And you hear it at the camera. Turn that off, take a snapshot, take a video, adjust the camera, but the camera is now set up. For advanced configuration, go to the next video about connecting to your Wi-Fi network.